This video is made possible by AE Rocket. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can customize your After Effects layout slash workspace so that you can increase your workflow while editing and save a hell lot of time. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and this is how it looks when you open the After Effects in its default setting and you have in, and you don't have any layout saved. So right at the top you can see we have the default layout, we have the standard small screen libraries but I have more three workspaces that is the templates, the tutorials and the ultra wide. Now let me explain what these are. Firstly, we have the template workspace. Now, this is the workspace that I like to use when I am working on my templates. I like to keep my project panel right over here, my effects control panel beside my project panel. And at the bottom, I like to use these two scripts. That is the keyframe wingman because I like to tweak the graph editor, the curve editor a lot. So keyframe wingman is a free script that you can use to tweak it. It saves you a hell lot of time. Then also, Newly, like lately I started using this OCD renamer which helps to rename the layers really quick and easy. Then I have the move anchor point 4 script and the auto crop script which helps to crop the composition to the size that we want. Then we have the align tab which is very simple to align things in the center. Then we have the character paragraph for my typography and text. And lastly we have the effects and presets. Now mainly I like to use the FX console from Video Copilot to search effects and presets because obviously everything on this layout saves me a hell lot of time but it can be a bit difficult to find the animation presets on the FX console panel so I like to keep the FX and presets panel right over here in case I want to use any presets that I have created. Now if you want to know how to create your custom preset I already have a tutorial on it so I'll mention the video link in the description. So this is basically the complete layout that I like to use while working on my templates. Then I have the layout for my tutorials which is very simple and minimal. So as you can see I don't have any script on the panel, the move anchor point except the move anchor point script because you know you can do it manually as well but just to save time in the tutorial and keep it short I like to use the move anchor point but you can easily do it with the pan behind tool as well. And here we have the effects and console effects control panel. And lastly, we have the ultra wide, ultra wide, <laughs> ultra wide layout. Now, previously I was using an LG ultra wide monitor with, with the dimensions of 2160 into 1080p. And that time I used to use this kind of workspace because obviously it was an ultra wide monitor. But right now I'm using the 4K LG. Um, I guess it's 27 UK 650, something like that, a 4K monitor with, um, you know, very good monitor for video editing. So I highly recommend you guys. I'll mention the link to the monitor in the description in case you want to check it out. Anyways, went a bit off topic there. So I have this workspace saved in case I want to switch to my ultra wide monitor, which is my second setup. In case I like to use that, I keep it. I, I have saved a layout or workspace, you can say. For that particular thing but if you go back this is our default setting so let's see how we can customize it now right now as you can see if I click on any particular tab only that tab opens up and everything else close closes and I don't like to keep it that way because in that case we need to click and open each and every tab every time I want to use it so what I like to do is I can go right here right click go into the project panel settings and uncheck this tag panel group now we can move it and place every section or any tab wherever that I want. So let's close the info tab because I don't want that. I don't want the audio tab. I don't want the preview tab. Effects and preset maybe I will need. So I'll keep it right over here. So it takes a very small space. Then we have the align tab which is again very important to align things in the, you know, anywhere in the composition. Then we have the character tab which is again very important. So I'm going to click and drag it right here we have the paragraph tag tag tab place it right here then we have the tracker which we don't need and there we go now in case you like to use any kind of scripts 
So let's say I want to use the move anchor point four. So I can go into windows and in the extension, we have the move anchor point four. So right now it's just a floating panel. Now I want to stack it somewhere. So I like to, you know, select it and just drag and drop it right over here and then select the line tab and place it like that. And there we go. Now, obviously the layout, the workspace depend depends on um, you know your individual preference because it, it is all up to you how you like to you know use the workspace so that it can increase your workflow and save it and saves you a lot of time also if you don't see the effects and control panel right now i can go into windows and there we should find it the effects and con control and normally i like to keep it beside the project panel because i don't like to you know switch again and again between these two panels so i like to keep it just like so so everything is up front on my screen and i can easily you know navigate to every single property or panel that i want so yeah that was a really quick video and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys you know this video helped you in some or the other way because many people were asking me how you customize your after effects works workspace in the way that you have it right now so this is how i customize it and this is how i like to work when i'm working on different projects depending on what i'm working on so if i'm working on a template i like to keep it at a template workspace if i'm working on a tutorial i like to keep it on a tutorial workspace and if i'm working on an ultra wide monitor i like to keep it on that particular workspace so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next tutorial till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative